Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel that is Biology at your fingertips and as I have told in my previous video that from today we are going to study the most important topics for NEET and AIM Centers examination. So I am here with a trick to learn NCRT table 1.1 of 11th class. So on that particular topic we have to memorize human as well as mangoes taxonomical hierarchy which is very important from examinations point of view and we will interrelate the human as well as house, house fly with each other and mango and beet with, beet with each other so that we will memorize these particular tricks easily so firstly we have to memorize the trick for taxonomical hierarchy which i have already you know made in previous video but i am going to tell it once more kingdom phylum class order family genus basis to memorize this taxonomical hierarchy i have made a trick kids put cats on fire gas stove Again, kids put cats on fired gas stove. Kids put cats on fired gas stove simply means kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species, which is a taxonomical hierarchy in decreasing order. When we go from species to kingdom, it will be the taxonomical hierarchy in increasing order because the kingdom is the largest category of taxonomical hierarchy. You have to remember that. So, for humans, if we have to memorize human's taxonomical hierarchy, there is a simple trick which is all chaperons must previously have had sugar, which is a simple English sentence. All chaperons must previously have had sugar. We have to emphasize on the first alphabet of this particular trick. For example, in all, A is the first letter which means animalia. Chaperons that is C, Caudata, Must, M that is Mammalia, P, pre Previously that is P, Primata, Have that is H, Hominidae, Had that is, that is H, Homo, S that is Sugar, simply means Sapiens. And Homo sapiens is the scientific name of human being and I have written it in accordance with binomial nomenclature. The first letter of the generic name is in capital letter. And the first letter of specific epithet is in small letters. And all the handwritten genus as well as species are separately underlined in accordance with binomial nomenclature given by Carolus Linus, which we have already discussed in previous lectures. So the trick is all chaperons must previously have had sugar. Simply means animalia, cordata, mammalia, primata, hominidae, homo, and sapiens. So this is all about the human beings, the taxonomical hierarchy of human beings. Now we are going to correlate this hierarchy with housefly. We know that housefly also belongs to animalia, so simply animalia. And all the insects in our surrounding belongs to phylum Arthropoda. So here the chordata and in housefly it will be Arthropoda. As you all know that housefly is an insect, so the class would be insecta. In accordance with human, primata, their diptera. The name is Homo. The family is Hominidae. The name is Musca. The family should be Muscidae. Very simple trick. Each and everything is going in accordance with each other. And the scientific name of housefly that is Musca domestica. So we have revised human being and housefly and their taxonomical hierarchy. Now you have heard about a popular singer that is Adnan Sami. So what will happen if he will play cricket? He will obviously going to wear pad. So the next trick is pad sami. So in accordance with this trick, we are going to link the first letter of mango with this particular trick. For example, P that is plantae, A angiosperme, D dicotyledone, S sapindales, A anacardiaceae. M. Mangifera and I. Indica. Mangifera indica is the scientific name of mango which is separately underlined in accordance with binomial nomenclature again. So P A D S A M I Pad Semi which is the trick for to, mem to memorize the taxonomical hierarchy of mango. P A D S A M I simply means plantae, angiosperme, digotyledone, sapindales, anacardiaceae, mangifera and indica. And now we are going to relate this particular trick with wheat. So, Wheat is also a plant, so the kingdom will remain planty, very simple. And wheat is also an angiosperm. All the flowering plants in the surrounding are angiosperms, so it will also be a part of angiospermy. 
this is a dicotyledony so the bead would be a monocotyledony we just have to memorize this particular thing sepentails if we have already learned this sepentails we have to make it oils anacardiaceae oac very simple and this triticum estimum which is the scientific name of bead so this is the trick to memorize table 1.1 for ncrt so thank you so much guys for watching this video if you really like this video then hit the like button comment on my video and subscribe to my channel if you are new and tell your friends to subscribe my channel too thank you so much guys